Hello, you cool cats and kittens. I mean, my friends. I am so excited to see you today. I am so excited for today. We had such a great time yesterday, didn't we, in our Zoom dance parties. I was so tired when they were all finished. Oh my goodness. I needed to drink so much water and I needed to take a nice long break. I bet you guys were ready for bed when we were finished. All right, are we ready to sing our good morning song? Let's do that. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Oh, great singing, friends. All right. I want to know how you're feeling today. Can you tell me how you are feeling today? Those are some great feelings. I'm feeling pretty good. I feel a little bit tired from yesterday from all that dancing that we did, but I also feel really good from all that dancing we did because it was really good to get our bodies moving after maybe not moving as much as we normally do. So let's say good morning to Mr. Sean, and we'll say good morning to Theo, and we'll say good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning. You can also say good morning to brothers and sisters, or mummies and daddies, or whoever you are with right now. Say good morning to them and let them know that you're thinking about them. All right, so let's get started with our day. I don't have a whole lot going on our plan today, but I do have a few things I wanted to talk to you about and a few things I wanted to show you. So. The first thing we're gonna do is we gotta figure out our day of the week. All right, let's hold up our two fingers and our five fingers, which are seven fingers, and we'll sing our days of the week song. Are we ready? Excellent. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great singing. Have you figured out what day of the week it is yet? Yesterday was th, th, Thursday. Hmm, let's think about it while we sing our song in French. Are we ready? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Dimanche, lundi, mardi, mercredi, jeudi, vendredi, samedi. Great job singing it in French. All right, so yesterday was th, th, Thursday, which means today is Friday. Great job guessing what day of the week it was. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, and we're going to have some fun. Oh, we are gonna have some fun today. All right. So we figured out that it is Friday or Vendredi. So now we need to figure out what number this is. It's getting pretty big again. So we're gonna have to start all the way down at number one. So grab your pointers and your circle time sheets and let's all count together. Are you ready? All right, come on. So we're gonna start here at number one. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Great job. The one and the seven is seventeen. So we can write it like this. What day of the week was it? Friday. And is it still March? No, it's April. April. And then what was the big number we counted to today? Number 17. So we can say today is Friday, April 17. Great job. All right. Let's talk about the weather. 
What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Hmm, I want you to use your looking eyes to look outside and tell me what the weather is where you are today. Really? Huh, that's great. So where I am today at preschool, when I'm looking outside, it's not bad actually. It was not the nicest weather the other day at preschool, but it's not bad today. So I'm gonna put up the clouds, cause I do still see some clouds and I'm gonna put up the sun. And also it's not super warm, but it's also not really cold. But I'm gonna put on my rain boots because right now there's puddles in lots of places. And so if our weather panda were to go outside, I would want him to wear his rain boots. Hmm, let's see what else he needs to wear today. He needs to wear his pants. No, those are his shorts. Where did his pants go? Uh-oh. Are we missing the weather panda's pants? Or are they just hiding? Oh, they're right here. All right. So we'll put his pants on. We'll put a sweater on him. And we can even put his sunglasses on for the first time in a few days because the sun is out a little bit and we wanna make sure we protect his eyes. So, if I were to ask you in French what the weather was, I would ask you, il fait beau, ou il fait froid. So il fait beau would be if it's nice outside or it's sunny or warm-ish. <clears throat> and il fait froid would mean it is cold. So if I asked you today, il fait beau ou il fait froid, which one would you say? Would you say beau or would you say froid? It's really up to you because you get to decide how you feel today, but I would say il fait beau. I would say it's pretty nice outside. So great job helping me dress the weather panda. All right, so I have a story for you today. I have a very good spring story because I'm hoping for spring to be coming very soon, if not today, maybe Monday. All right, are we ready to listen to my storybook? I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So, I have two friends on my storybook. I've got a little boy and a little girl. And my storybook is called Worm Weather. Mm, do you see the worms? When I was little, I used to love going outside and playing with worms after the rain. But I used to get in trouble because I needed to wash my hands. Is it important that we wash our hands after we play outside? Mm-hmm. It's very important that we wash our hands. All right. Drip, drop, skip, and hop. Splish, splash, sidewalk, dash. Worm, worm, wiggle, squirm, worm weather. Look at all of those worms. Do you think we can count them? All right, let's get our pointers out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Awesome. Fourteen worms. Coat, hat, Rain goes splat. So when you jump in a puddle, does it make a noise? It does. Sometimes your boots might go squish, but most of the time there'll be a big splat when you jump into the puddle. Oh, here we go. Boots, jump, old tree stump. Do you like jumping in the rain? I do too. Big stomp, 
Puddle Swamp. Mud! Stop! Belly Flop. Uh-oh, was he going to belly flop into the mud? Mm, but a grown-up stopped him because that would have been really messy. Almost. Dark cloud. Very loud. Can you make the sound of thunder? Does it go like this? If you clapped really loud. Can you try it? I want you to try clapping like thunder. Good job. Bright flash thunder crash. Quick race pizza place. Mmm, <gasps> are they gonna go get some pizza? Mm-hmm. Pizza when it's raining is one of my favorite things. Drip dry pizza pie. Sun pops, drizzle stops. So, do we see that the clouds are going away and the sun is coming out? Birds fly, rainbow sky. Remember when we talked about rainbows? When do rainbows happen in the sky? Do they happen when it's raining and it's sunny outside? Yeah, they do. Rainbows are my favorite. I really love rainbows. Run, sing, playground, swing. Oh, look at these friends having so much fun on playgrounds. I know we can't go to the playground right now, but we can pretend. We can think about a beautiful playground we'd like to visit in our mind. Worm, worm, wiggle, squirm. Can you wiggle and squirm? It's worm weather. So I can't wait for some worm weather. I can't wait for it to be a little bit rainy, but also sunny. I can't wait for the sun and the warm. Oh, I love spring. And I love jumping in puddles. And I love looking at the worms. I bet you do too. All right. So today for our um, activity, we are making potions. So I showed you how to do this last week, but we are going to use baking soda and vinegar. And if you have food coloring or sparkles, you can mix them all up together. If you have a little bit of shaving cream, you can put a little bit of shaving cream inside and mix it all up. And I'm gonna tell mummies and daddies a trick. So when you're putting the baking soda into the cup or the container, if you put a little bit of Dawn, all dish soap is good, but Dawn is the best. If you put a little bit of Dawn dish soap in, it will make it extra bubbly, which is really awesome when we're making potions. So we, we are going to do that. And I'm going to do a special video maybe this weekend about kind of some of the best potions that I've ever made and how to do those. So those are so much fun. I also want you to try mixing colors. So this week we've been talking about when we mix red with yellow, what do we get? Or when we mix, mix red with blue, what do we get? Our act, art activity today is going to be caterpillar coloring. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I have my crayons here, my scented crayons, because I love them so much. So I'm going to use four colors today. I have pink, and I have green, and I have blue, and I have purple. And I want you to use this. So I included this in your kit. The first thing we always do is we write our name. So I've written my name on. So now I'm going to put these right here. So I'm going to hold up my tray, and I've got my caterpillar. So I want you to take your crayons or your markers, or you could even do paint. It's totally up to you, but I want you to try coloring in between the stripes of the caterpillar. So we've got a few stripes here. So I'm gonna do some purple stripes right here. And then I'm gonna get a different color. So I'm gonna use green. 
right here and there and I'll do two more stripes so I've got blue so I can use some blue right here and then I'll use some pink so I want you to try and color in between the lines it's good practice for your hands and your eyes figuring out where the lines are and where we should be coloring and where our fingers need to be. Remember, I don't want you holding your crayon or your marker like this. I want you to hold it like this. So I want you to use your pincher grasp or your tripod grasp to hold your pencil. And we're just gonna color in our caterpillar today. And I can't wait to see what kind of colors you decide you're gonna use. If you mix colors or if you keep them separate, it's totally up to you. Something else that's really important that we talk about when we're at preschool is when we're all done with our art supplies, what should we do with them? Yeah, we should totally put them away. We need to make sure that our art supplies get put away. All right, so I'm gonna put mine away and I'm gonna put this down here. And then I am going to get out my magic box. I have to take out yesterday's item and put in today's item. All right, because I forgot to do that. So, I only had a couple questions for today's magic box. I can't wait for some suggestions. If you have ideas on things that I should be putting inside the magic box to try and trick you, please let me know. But the first question I have is from Dason, and Dason wants to know what sound does it make? And I would say that it makes a crunching sound. So crunch, crunch is the sound that it makes. At least that's the sound it makes for me. And Colton wants to know what color is it. And so it is all green. There's not any other color on it. It's all green. So it goes crunch, crunch, and it's all green. Where would it live? So it would live on a plant for the most part. It spends most of its life on a plant or maybe in your house. Okay. So it goes, the sound that it makes sometimes is crunch, crunch. And it's all green and it would live on a plant or in your house, but it spends most of its life on a plant. And how do you use it? You eat it. Hmm, okay, so let's think about this. If we eat it, that means that it's edible or food. So what is food that is all green and goes crunch, crunch, and would grow on a plant? Hmm. Okay, so all green, yeah. it would grow on a plant. Daddy. Hi, baby. A bee. Oh, super cool. Okay, be gentle, be careful. It would grow on a plant, it's all green. It would go crunch, crunch when I eat it. And yeah, it would live on a plant. Okay, so how, what can we think of? I bet you guys have a couple of things in your brains that you might be thinking of that this could be. So let's see if I can narrow it down a little bit. So it doesn't grow in the ground and it doesn't grow on a tree, but it grows on a plant. I tried to grow them once in my backyard and I didn't, I, it didn't work out very well for me. So it goes crunch, crunch when you eat it. It's all green. It would live on a plant or in your house and you eat it. Let's see, is it celery? Do you think it might be celery? Or maybe cucumber? Hmm, what else is green that we eat? Lettuce? Hmm, can you think of other things we eat that are green? Those are all really good guesses. I will tell you that this also comes yellow, orange, or red. Hmm. If you guessed a green pepper, 
you would be totally right. Those were some good guesses. I'm running out of things to put in my magic box though. I need some help from friends to kind of figure it out. I might start using things I have to bring from home, but I want your ideas. So I want you to think about all the things that I have at school or maybe that I might have at home and give me some ideas on things I can put inside the magic box so that we can keep playing this really fun game. All right, I'm not gonna do a letter or our jolly sounds today. We'll start working again on those next week. But I can't wait to see everyone on Monday. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. Let's get out our working hands. Are you ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played, all day long we worked and played and now our day is done wave goodbye to all your friends all your friends all your friends wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again bye friends see you tomorrow or see you on monday i mean <laughs> have a nice weekend bye Attack! Bye! Is that all you cool cats and kittens?